guys, it's Tammy the Canadian Stamper. Welcome to Saturday Morning Crafting. It is nine o'clock on August 20th and I've got three projects today. They're Christmas themed, uh, but the three projects are just doing a way back track, which is beginner, casual, and avid crafter. So let me um, get going here. Uh, I celebrated, well I'm celebrating my fifth year with Stampin' Up, which is super fun and um, yeah, I'm just really fortunate, I feel very fortunate to be recognized for that. So five years, there's my little pin, came in this super cute box. Yeah, hi Wendy, hi Kate, <clears throat> yeah, so that was fun, that came yesterday in the mail. So my anniversary was in July. So uh, just to recap then, so the three projects are beginner, casual, and avid crafter. So <clears throat> if you are not familiar with these three things, it's kind of a theme that Stampin' Up! does to showcase beginner stampers are ink, stampin' ink, stamps, ink, and paper, sip stamps and paper and then casual is getting into some stuff and then avid is uh like you're a collector of all the things you i would consider myself a um an avid i have i mean that maybe is obvious <laughs> oh okay so um today is the day that i need to craft y'all i feel like putting my phone on do not disturb and i'm crafting so three projects plus there's um a card buffet at 10 o'clock it's a small group which is good because i'm still recovering from surgery and i'm feeling awesome by the way and um yeah so let's get started thanks guys for all the congratulations i tried to let's get to the color credit. i tried to create a poll today Are you there still? I hit cancel. <laughs> I meant to flip the camera around. <sighs> now I'm going to, I want to scooch in here a bit. Yes. Card buffet FOMO. That's all right, Kate. You have life happening. So that's cool. Next time. Next time. All right. So. I feel like maybe I'm not seeing all of your comments. The last one I see is card buffet, but it said I had eight more comments. All right, let's do a recap, y'all. Classes. Giveaway. So I'm changing my newsletter. I'm going to try and send out my newsletters on Saturdays, which is going to capture this live that goes to YouTube. Just if you're wondering where my, because usually I send it on Thursdays, but I've been delayed and I feel like I want to include this live because it's fun. It gives a little boost of crafting inspiration for the weekend. Last one for a while. Lori, you got stuff going on? I know you're doing some schooling. Okay, let's go over our, I don't have the projects made yet, but let's go over all the things, shall we? Then we're gonna do it. These I think are gonna to go together pretty good, uh, pretty quick because I have, I have the prep done. Okay, so three colors, and I've also got real red in here, which we're gonna use for the sentiment. And then we're using this painted Christmas designer series paper. So, um, What I want to say about this one is that this is from last year. I can't remember if it's annual catalog or the mini from last year. So I knew it was coming like it was going to be carried over. So last year I bought extra designer series paper and then I bought the bundle, which is the stamp set and dies. And I got 10% off, not 10% off this year but you might already have this carried over. So if you're thinking that you like this and you wanna maybe play with it, uh, before you buy it, make sure that uh, you don't have it from last year. 
So the other dies that come with this and the stamp set are over in the buffet lineup because I have a Christmas card ready to go. But this kind of gives you, I've used this die for our Avid project. So I'll show you what I've done with that. Oh, Kate, Mike got home. He's, he's a trooper, man. He is insane with driving and just getting from Alberta to here. Awesome sauce. How did I know the DSP was? Uh, because at the end of a catalog, uh, there is, um, I think they call it a wish list. No, a carryover list. Um, yeah, so it's, it's there. We'll have another one. So it happens with the mini catalog, the annual catalog, as well as the, I don't know what they call it, the January to June mini catalog, I guess. So yeah, cool, cool. Now, uh, painted textures embossing folder. So this, of course, tells you that it's been through three catalogs and brightest glow. This is new. So I always would like to have uh, a seasonal Christmas specifically. So I do a lot of Christmas cards. So I will put different sentiments in the Stamparatus on the different plates, and then they just live there. And I'm stamping the sentiment, usually the ones for the inside. And, and I felt like this one had nice sayings for the inside as well as the outside. We're gonna use this Merry Christmas here today. Um, yeah, it's cool, cool. We may use this. We're definitely gonna use the red. This is the real red and garden green. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's my prep. I do have, I couldn't decide between champagne and red and green. Actually, this isn't true. This is, there's a catalog, Christine, I'm not sure if you're watching. I know you're on your way here soon, but the name of this is different than what's in the catalog and it makes it seem red and green adhesive back dots. They're, there's a different name in the catalog for them, but that's what they look like. Which, so that red is gonna go beautifully with our matchy matchy, because this is real red. This is real red from the designer series paper, and then we're using ink and ribbon. So we have all the things. So let's do the first one. All right, here's my goodies here. So standard A2 size card base out of basic white. And I'm gonna show you if you have a, like a pencil or a pen or if you wanna take note, I'm gonna tell you the measurements. This is a three by three square of evening evergreen. And then this is two and three quarters by two and three quarters, I believe. Yeah, so that's just nesting like so. Uh, I think I'm actually just gonna pop this up. That's pretty on the back too. How's the camera? It's good. Tell me what you guys are up to today. I am, I need a bit of a break today from school. We had a project due yesterday, so that's in. Great teamwork. And we've got two projects due on Monday. It's a lot. I was saying to Lance last night, the boys got home from being up island and I'm like, man, I don't know if this is what I signed up for. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, just let me get a scrap. I just want to practice my sentiment. So, and I'm doing this because this for two, uh, yeah, two reasons. One is that this is a new Oh my gosh, not photopolymer, cling stamp. So like red rubber. And um, I feel like my real red ink pad is dying a bit. It needs to be re-inked, but I didn't get a chance to do that. Yeah, Pam, I'm looking forward to seeing you. I haven't chatted with you. Well, email of course, but yeah. It'd be nice to chat. All right, so this is our sentiment. See how pretty that is? I love the scripty with the block letters. It's lovely, I love it. I dig it. All right, let's get real, we're doing it. This is gonna go like this and we're gonna put some ribbon 
uh, am I putting ribbon? I don't know. So I just want to kind of get a, I want to line it up a bit. So I am going to move this before I put this down. And the reason why is because I've popped this up. So the height between the block and the dimensionals might interfere with one another. And I'm nervous to stamp right on the card. Do you guys get nervous like that too? It's just paper. We can fix it. No problem. Nailed it. Yes. I envision a little gold, a little rhinestone right on top for the eye. Okay, let's close this. Because we know inevitably I will get red. It's just just what happens. So I pulled out my tape runner today. I'm like my tape runner doesn't get enough love. You know how I struggle with my glue sometimes. Uh, so that's higher than I want it, but I don't hate it. So, and I'm gonna get my multi-tool. I'm gonna use my putty end. Now, okay, so let's follow through on my vision here. I'm doing one little dot for the eye. Ah, I think that's it. I'm leaving it like that because this is this is beginner. So ink stamp and paper. I mean, we're adding in a bit of designer series paper, but why not? Card one is done, y'all. Okay, let's do card number two. So it's not going to be super different. Uh, am I popping? No. I'm not gonna pop this one. I'm gonna, because I'm, I'm adding layers. You know how I like my layers. What are you guys doing today? Pop it. I'm gonna pop the other layer, Kate. Kate, I know you're paper pumpkining with uh, some folks today, which is super fun. Um. I lost my train of thought. What am I doing? Oh, my sentiment. All right, here we go. Okay, so sidebar, uh, I do have a group order going in. Uh, probably not today, but tomorrow. If you wanna save on shipping, you know, if you just need a couple things. So celebration is still happening until for a couple more weeks actually there's some stuff that's not available anymore such a relief when i get it right gosh i even think it's straight these stamp really pretty all right let's get our ribbon so this is casual crafter there's my snips Yes, Wendy, I'm gonna see you too. Perhaps you're just telling me you're leaving the live. Happy hour crafting, love that. All right, so we're gonna wrap this. Now, to hold down your ribbon, um, I'm gonna make a bow in the front, so I want to it's probably lots. Let's do this. So putting this at the back helps so that when I'm fussing here, it's behaving, you know? We're gonna do bow to the right. So Kate's paper pumpkining Happy hour, what's everybody else doing? Mm. Getting brave, building this bow on the card or on the piece. I'm gonna tighten this. There. I kinda feel like the bow should be that way, but 
Yep, I'm doing it. I'm getting rid of this. No problem. We're shifting because I feel like the paper is upside down the other way. So next week is my residency starts at Royal Roads. So of the cohort, there's 30, 32 of us maybe? So a lot of people are traveling. I think there's actually even somebody coming from maybe India? So sometimes what you wanna do here is put a little glue dot under here if this moves around, but I think it's okay. Like it's not, cause maybe because I have the glue here, this is not being difficult. So that's good. Okay. So let's get this down. Oh no, this is what I'm popping. Yeah, residency. I showed Kate the calendar for the residency yesterday. It's a lot of blocked time. I'm gonna add a couple more. So I think there's gonna be a lot of group work we're doing. Uh, so we're finishing accounting and writing. And then next we're gonna do leadership and organizational behavior, I think. So I'm enjoying the readings for school. The late, we got our pre-readings for some of our courses and uh, yeah, I like it. Okay, so I'm using the edge of my table here just to help me with being straight. I know it's insane. I'm really hoping that September becomes more chill, you know? See? Beautiful. All right, I think I'm gonna have to use glue because I've got too much going on on this panel now. Yeah, so the boys are home, which is good. Can't believe how tall Zach is. He is as tall as his dad and maybe gaining. Okay, let's do our little dot dot. It's so pretty. Oh, I should tell you, this is cased from, oh shoot, hang on, Stampin' Pretty? Stampin' Pretty, yeah, that's who I cased it from. Love her stuff. And sidebar, she's a demonstrator in the States. I subscribe to her newsletter. Love her project. She does three project tutorials every week. I wish I was organized enough for that. That's a lot of work. Uh, but what I really like is her, she's got a, um, a library of projects. So the library of projects is super fun. Super fun. Oh, sidebar, I am also rebuilding my website and I want to have a gallery of projects. So similar to like how all of my projects are on YouTube and some of them are on the my Stampin' Up! website as well. And they, um, I want them to be on the website so that they can be a resource trying to think about I think I'm gonna just glue this down again that's the vision for the website is to have a huge gallery of resources that be fun okay so I'm not really telling you what I'm doing but you know you can see what's happening thanks for the encouragement on the website. All right, so same pieces, right? And then so for the avid crafter, I mean, you can go crazy. Embossing, to, like the sky's the limit, right? You all who are avid card makers, you know how crazy it can get. So I'm not going like crazy, crazy, 
but I'm just giving you a little taste of a beginner Avid maybe. I don't even know if that's a thing. Sure, sure it's a thing. Okay, so we're doing same, same. This is really easy ribbon to work with, by the way. This combo pack. And what's happening? Here we go. Trying to be fancy doing it on the roll here. All right, let's give this a snip. Some demonstrators were using, or some crafters, I should say, I don't know if they're demonstrators, were using different scissors for cutting ribbon, which made sense when I thought about it because sometimes these scissors don't fully cut as nice as I'd like them to, which is interesting because the Stampin' Up! snips are super sharp. But it makes sense because, you know, if you sew, like if you, because, I mean, you've got your fabric scissors, right? When Zach was little, I, and I, well, I have a sewing room, but I, I don't use it very often. I'm not super confident in my sewing skills, but um, I do have the, my special scissors and, uh, you know, you can't use your fabric cutting scissors. That's what it is. So it makes sense that this would also, because you're cutting the ribbon of the fabric. Okay, I'm taking a glue dot because I want this to sit. So I'm gonna put one under here for the base of the bow. Now, you could also, if you wanted to control these tabs you could also put this ribbon would support having another glue dot under it like let's say you wanted this to sit like that i'm okay with it the way it is but just you know as an option for you all right always good <laughs> okay uh where's my ink now i grabbed this piece so it's a piece of basic white and then i've used this Lovely labels pick a punch so you can get the two. This is the ending that I chose, but it's quite wide. And I'm, I'm, if it doesn't fit the sentiment, I'm gonna have to. I don't have a backup plan, but we'll just see how it goes. We'll see. See if we can get third time's a charm with this. I think I went too low. Oh my gosh. I'll take that. Sweet. Guess I should have said nailed it because I did. All right, let's get the pieces going here. So same card base. This is a, it's the same size. I don't know what size this is. This is three and three quarters by five. So let's do a little pop. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about all my pieces here. I'm trying to tell Lance that we need to turn the air conditioning on in the house. I felt like it was super hot this morning already. It's a beautiful breeze with the windows open, but sometimes we used to not have air conditioning. Like lots of people don't have air conditioning, of course, but we're fortunate to have a heat pump came with the house, which Cheryl Laidlaw, who's our realtor, highly recommend her. She's amazing. She's just sent us our annual six years we've been in this house. All right, so here's all of our pieces. So we know this is gonna be like this. Now let's talk about doodads. This, I mean, I don't hate it, but I thought maybe, let's see what happens. Hello, Marilyn from Vermont. Oh, this is, stand by, I need my chopper. I didn't do all the prep. 
So I think these are one inch. Let's see how big this is. This might be tricky, folks, because this is one inch and my sentiment is one inch. I certainly can't go down anymore. So let's see how this goes. Um, let's do the same. So I put it this way, but then I don't trust it. So I always flip it over. Hang on, I just wanna see how much room I've got. I've got tons of room. So I put it in like so, so see how it's right exact. And then, now you can just put it right like that and you're you're good to go. Actually, I'm gonna do that because I got lots of paper. Sometimes I'll bring it back here. Heat pumps are an excellent investment. When Zach was little, like baby, and we lived uh, on Sunshine Coast, it was so hot. And so my mom bought us a like a portable air conditioner and then uh, she always used to take the float plane over, so she put it on the float. They agreed to put it on the float plane. And uh, so then my mom's, her grandson, it wasn't an air conditioner for the house. It was literally a portable air conditioner for her grandson's bedroom. It was hilarious. We, and that's where it went. <laughs> so I think we moved it to the hall just outside um, later on. Look at that guys, I totally nailed that. Oh, is it too big? Yeah, so we, um, that, was, that was funny. Grandma always looking after Zach. I don't want this to, I don't think I'm, I don't want it to go over, but I don't think I'm gonna get a choice here. All right, let's just see how this goes. I'm gonna go really fine, like just a hint, just a little hint. Okay, this little. And then we'll do this side. So I think the red, the real red, so like real red, um, gives this a nice pop from the white. I'm gonna live it, I'm gonna live with this because yeah, it's good. Now, let's talk about Avid. So what I have here, let me just hold these up. So from this set, Again, with the designer series paper and the dies, I have these. This is from a different project and I took them off because mm, they just were too much for the card. So they've been sitting on my keyboard. So it's two pieces. You do the base and then there's a more intricate to go over the top. Pine cones. Now this is that big die we had and I've, I've taken it apart, uh, just let me go. I think the pieces go, it's like this massive die, like this, I think it's this way. And then I've just snipped those two pieces. So really, if you wanted to get crazy on a project, you could have the whole thing, right? And then you've got your pine cones going. Actually, let's just look at that. You do this, and then you add some pine cones. I love that. So there's a bonus option for you. Anyways, that's not what we're doing today because we have this. And then I've got some, what is this? This is uh, soft sea foam. Uh, is that still available, the green? What do you mean? Like the greenery? Yeah, it's a dye. And of course the paper is there. Sorry, Wendy, I'm not quite sure what you mean. These dies are available. So my thought here, let's just build this out a bit. So Avid cards have a lot going on traditionally. I mean, usually. That's why it's Avid. We just have all the things and we want them to all go on the cards. <laughs> 
So I thought maybe I would just add some sprigs. I mean, there's a sprig punch as well, which is totally awesome. It's in one of the kits though. Mm, let's keep this. Yeah, the dye. Yeah, it sure is. You're welcome to borrow it, Wendy. Or yeah, you can get it too if you think you're gonna use it other times. Okay, so we have this, we have this. Now I wanna add some of this. I'm digging it. I might add a bit here too. Mm. See how we go. I don't hate that. Gives a little, it kind of balances a bit. And our little pine cones might be the way to go. It's too much. Maybe one pine cone? I feel like maybe, oh yeah, like that. I think I'm gonna take these little guys off. What do you guys think? Thoughts? Too busy? Not enough? A lot going on, right? Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, it's a good job, and I haven't even got your con <laughs> seen your comments yet. Oh, sure, Danny, you're doing a great job. <laughs> okay. Let's get this stuck down. And we're going to add some of this. All right, let's do it. So we're going to add So I think that the um, I'm always thinking to myself, well, for Christmas, if you're going to mass produce, right? Like if you have a bunch of Christmas cards to do, I think that the beginner or beginner or casual crafter options that we did would work great for mass producing, you know, like chop up all your bases, chop up all your three by three and layering squares. I mean, one sheet of 12 by 12, cause you get two sheets in a, so, I mean, somebody can do the math probably faster than me, but you can get quite a few squares. So I'm not gonna pop this cause my white piece is popped already. I don't know about, mass producing this one. I think you totally could because these, you know, these pieces you could get a lot out of one run through. I really like the white backdrop to this. It's working for me. That's heavy on the glue. Okay. Mass produce. Let's tuck this in. And then we're gonna be done. Oh, so uh, if you are thinking about the gnome class in September, the gnome dies. The whole suite is not available, but the dies and the stamp set are back in stock. So if you're thinking about getting that, I messaged a couple people, it was on there. They were waiting for it to come back in. It wasn't supposed to come in until I think next week, but it came in early. So, and the designer series paper for the gnomes, if you're thinking about getting that, because some of the dyes cut out from the paper, the paper is on low inventory. So just be mindful of that. I want to, I want an extra sprig here. We're gonna do embellishments. You're working today, Nancy. What the heck? It's Saturday. Is that Saturday today? Hopefully it's some overtime. I'm gonna go back into work on in September. 
I've got a few shifts. That looks better. Okay, we're so close to being done. Awesome, let's get this stuff out of the way. Now, I need our little, I don't know that I'm gonna, oh, that didn't stick down. I was gonna say, I don't know if I'm gonna add, but of course I'm gonna add because be crazy if you didn't take advantage of the supplies, right? Uh, let's do one more. See, I'm happy with this. Love it. Now let's bring in the other projects. Yes, I think September 15th, Kate, I actually need to talk with Tammy just to confirm what we're doing. Look at this, isn't this fun? I might just trail the, I might just, I said I wasn't going to, but I lie. I lie too. It's my scissors. Oops. I just don't want that to be, I'm being overly something with this. Yeah, see, I like that better. It sits better. It's just the little things. Now, I think you could probably get crazy and you could do some Wink Estella on here. I think that would be reasonable for a beginner crafter. It's 11 bucks for it, right? This is the Wink Estella. It's a glitter brush. All right, let's do it. Why not? My tip keeps following. Now, pro tip with the uh, Wink Estella, if you've got a lot going on, um, just be careful that you're not like creating like a huge blob on your project. So disappointing when that happens. Ah, it's a nice little touch, right? Sometimes it's hard to pick that up on camera. So let me review before I let you go for an awesome Saturday. So newsletter subscribers, uh, you can reply to the email, the newsletter email with answering the question and that gets you into the draw, which is gonna be August 27th, which is the last Saturday of August. And it's gonna be for a stamp set and die for the hippos. Uh, gnome dies and stamp are back in stock and then you'd get the class for free in September whoops that's it guys and then I've got some classes October November all the things for fall and and that kind of stuff thanks for hanging out with me guys super fun I'm happy with these projects. I hope you'll try them. So beginner, casual, avid. This is ink stamping paper. This is you're getting into some embellishments. You're getting into some different things. I think you could probably, I could have probably added a bit to this to make it a bit more crafty for the casual crafter. And then avid, which is like a collector of all the things. Love it. Have an awesome Saturday, guys. We'll talk to you. I'm not sure what's happening for next weekend because I'll be in residency, but if I can make a live in between classes, I'm sure gonna. Have a great day, guys. Bye for now.